This is a Fulcrum Technologies screencast. Hello there, I'm Rex. Thank you for joining me in this screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at two minor features that were introduced in Build 1000. These two new features affect when the notes overlay will appear or not appear in certain situations. Underneath the visuals menu, you'll find show notes on full screen movie and show empty notes on movies. Let's take a look at show notes on full screen movie. With the red dot, that indicates that this feature is turned on. So I'm going to double click on a row here. I'm going to hit control return and type in a note. You'll see that that appears in my movie collection notes overlay. When I present this full screen, let's make sure we're presenting full screen. We have this new handy feature where you can target uh, which monitor that the movie is presented in full screen. Right clicking there sets that and I'm going to jump into full screen. You'll notice that the notes overlay is there, right? Let's bail out and let's go in and turn that off. When I double click and I present full screen, you'll see that that note overlay is not there. Now my computer is taking a moment to present because I'm doing a big move at the moment. I'm moving a terabyte of data, so it's a little bit slow. Uh, you'll see that the notes overlay has disappeared. However, it's in my angles window. So this is handy for presenting a movie full screen, say on a projector, and not presenting your notes. It's kind of like a feature you find in Keynote or PowerPoint to display the presenter notes in the full screen or on your local computer that you're presenting from. Let's bail out of full screen and take a look at the show empty notes on movies. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to jump into full mode because I really like full mode and I double click to play and I'm tabbing through. Notice that we have this big black bar, which is the notes overlay, being presented over the top of the movie, even though there's nothing in it. The reason for that is that we're showing that, which allows you to edit and add content into the notes strip. So I can jump out and then it tabs through and I can just type in another note However, you, you know, when you're tabbing along, you get this big black bar and you don't want that, especially when you're presenting. So let's bail out of that and then let's go to our visuals and we'll turn that off. And when we play and we tab through, notice that it only appears when there is already a note inside of it. So those are two little handy features that uh, you might find very convenient or helpful when you're doing presentations.